It, it was today a very nice uh, convention of rabbis for long hours, and we sat together to think about what will be the way of the new government that we have today in Israel. Because it looks to be that we are going very, very far away from every Jewish tradition. And the life of Klal Yisrael is going with Torah together. Everybody understand it. If you don't have Torah, we don't have Klal Yisrael at all. And we, th we think all together that, uh, to find a way how to change the whole new conception that they are going with them. It it's looks to be very, very not good. I'm not going to say bad, but it's not, not what it has to be. We are really afraid from, the, from it because they, those who are very far away from Jewish tradition, they have more influence on the whole of the government today. And every day new things about Shab Shabbos, to cancel Shabbos in Nazi soil, and to cancel other things, you know, a terrible thing, you know, and to send, send away, it will not be rabbis at all. In every city today, they have many rabbis who belong to quarters, you know, and now they want to cancel it as well, you know, and it's, we're wondering how could it be, you know. So we hope that it will be useful to bring to the government, to the people who understand what Judaism means, to think about and to stop it, you know, not to continue. How do you relate to the issue of drafting the yeshiva students to the army? Today, the Jewish world is very empty from Torah. If you are going, let's say, in Europe, whole Europe, after the Holocaust, did return back. And today, we don't have in whole Europe, you know, only one, two, three years, not more than that. Where is it all? It was in the past. Let's say about North Africa. In that time, years ago, was a center of Torah, like the well, very well-known families like Baba Sali, you know, Abu Hatsira and others. And the time they arrived to, to Eretz Yisrael, they brought a power, you know, of Avodah Hashem, how to deal with Kodesh Bochu, you know, and we don't have it at all. They send the children. They don't know exactly who is going to get the children in Israel. And they put them into totally anti-Orthodox places, and they lost them. So we don't have anything. The same North, North South America don't have yeshivas. They are calling him. They are very nice. Very few yeshivas. They are by Levin, in Buenos Aires, a yeshiva, but very few. So today what is true in, in the world is earthy soil mostly and in America the tremendous wonderful wonderful issue that they have in Lakewood and that's it and it's not enough if you're going to touch it you know so will not be any possibility today we have every year between 10,000 to 15,000 young people young boys who are coming after the high school after the Shiva high school that they learn and they are coming to learn a year two three years and many of them stayed in Nazi soil after that. Now the government, if somebody is coming to learn a university, the Jewish studies, getting scholarships, and now they cut the scholarship only for one point, not to help yeshivas to get them. And the boys who are learning today in the yeshivas, that will be the leadership of the next generation in the whole Jewish world, the English speakers. They are coming from England, coming from, from America, coming from every, every kind of, maybe most of these, English speakers, you know, and we are going to lose it. So what could be done? I mean, it seems that the, the public needs to understand the, the, the but meaning. I believe that there are many people who are really close to the establishment in the state of Israel. Not only that, there are many people who are donors, who donated for the country much money to tell, them to, to tell them why are you going to cut it. It's good for the state of Israel. That's, that made the whole relationship stronger, deeper, and that's what's more important for us, you know. We love them. They are coming to us to make a understanding, you know, between the youth who are learning in yeshivas in Israel and the youth who are learning in the state, in other countries, you know, as well. And that's the... Because that we could be sure that the continuation of Torah will continue. And they wanted to cut it. It's not only in that view. And let's say the Talmud Day Torah they are learning, you know, say, no, we have to change it. So impossible, you know, people are talking about issues, they don't understand it. Nobody of them saw how it looks to be a Talmud Torah. They don't know what they are learning, what they're not learning, you know. It's terrible. 
I will say, I said once uh, to the Minister of, uh, of Education, I told him, you know, let's take a young boy, five years old, seven years old, and to take a boy who studied the faster, he's finished his master in, in the Jewish studies, and to put them together and ask the same questions, the seven boys, young boy, and the 30 years old, the master, who will be better? Who will answer better answers, you know? No, by, by asking no question about it. If they will see what's going on today, we have half of the Orthodox education is going is like that, that a boy, in the first grade, they are finishing Chumash Bereshis by heart. Later in third grade, they're finishing Chamish or Chumshatoy by heart. In the seventh grade, they are finishing Seder Moyed and Seder Kochim, whole Mishnah Eskimat by heart, you know. That is our future. And they wanted to cut it. Then it's not only they want to, to, to save money. Not that's the reason. The right reason they want to change our all way of understanding what, what Judaism means. And that's a fighting against it. And have to stop it. And we it be very important that our brothers oversee will understand it, you know. Because we are not against the government when it's like conception of the of the government. And they have to change, they have to understand what Torah means.